Por, por, por. Damn it! Said I was first. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah well. <laughs> One second. Too late. <laughs> ah, hi Ceratopsin, hi Jaden, hi uh, Trilo, welcome to the stream. To a special stream, by the way, this stream has a topic, uh, bright colors. So we will have a look at uh, all sorts of animals that are usually not portrayed as very colorful and give them a new design. Uh, and this all was started by this. I will share that quickly. Where is my... Why? Hmm. Apparently that doesn't work. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. Ah, ah, damn. It works different on. Ah, okay. Now I see how it how it works. <laughs> it works, uh, was inspired by this screenshot here that I took. Uh, or rather, I saw this and then I took the screenshot. You see here the the last row of pictures that I did is all very devoid of colors. So from the complicatus to the pick we did yesterday, it's all razor brownish. Sometimes these two here are, are bluish, but also not, not very, very colorful. No bright blues or anything like that. So, yeah. I thought, let's uh, change that. Um, yeah, and um, we will actually start. Uh, I, we, I already know what, what we start with. Um, because I had a little bit of an accident yesterday. Uh, I did that uh, large war talk. Uh, Me uh, Metrio Diocheros. And uh, I used some skull picture that I found on Google. But later, after the stream, I, I found a, kind of found a paper that describes part of the skull and also shows a 3D reconstruction of the skull then. Uh, the way I did the skull and the way it's shown there in the paper, they, they differ widely. So I thought it's, you know, that's not just really giving justice to this animal. Let's do that again. I usually don't do this, but uh, I think that would be nice. I also will choose a very different perspective. And of course we will make it more colorful. In this case, because it's a mammal, that will be rather tricky. 
but I think we can go around that by just showing this large pick um, doing something that pigs are known for being partly carnivorous sometimes. So being covered in blood should add a not a lot of uh, color to it. Ah, <laughs> oh, hi Nathan, welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, and if you want to see something more finished, then just this blank screen. Jack is also still streaming on his channel and working on a Elikosaur. But let's start with this piggledy. Is one is one of the big problems that turned up is the angle between snout and forehead, which is far greater than shown in my picture. Also, the fossil this paper is based on has very nicely preserved, very prominent jugal bosses here. I'm tempted to show it in complete frontal view actually. Let's actually do that. I think that looks more mysterious. Why doesn't that work anymore? Oh god. I yeah. Then we will do it. Uh, sometimes I still don't understand why this tablet does what it does. Yeah, but let me know what animals you know that are usually suffering from being too too bland without any saturated colors that you would like to see in a different view for once. Dr. No fucking chill. Civic Tinos is already done, unfortunately. Ah, hi, Prehistoric. Welcome to the stream. Oh, and drinks on us too. The snout here in the middle is very thin.
the muscles. And I think we will move this wool a bit a little. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody oh. followed me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wait, who was it? Oh. Oh, oh and <laughs> Jack as well. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. This new emoji is very, very helpful. <laughs> Bad at shooters, thank you very much. <laughs> now I saw it. Let's close the door. <laughs> Sisters having an argument. Uh. Thank you. Dip. Uh, said, oh, uh, Dinah Kairos is a good idea. Unfortunately, I already did that, and it's actually in the Paleo Stream book. Um, and I think we all had enough of vibrant colored um, Dinah Kairos thanks to that new uh, Korean documentary makes them pink as a flamingo mm -hmm. which doesn't really fit no. ah, i see you're also still still working on that elikosaur yeah noise i mean i i would stop uh yeah actually that's what i'll do i'll stop streaming on that one just so people Go and watch Yoshua's stream if you're still watching this one at twitch.tv forward slash Hyrotrioski and do it. And this stream is ending. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. See so your are you redoing the uh, the warthog? Yeah. Then. probably have need to have a look at the war talk in, in front of you mm. why is internet so slow right now <laughs> Ah, yeah, nice. I place the uh, yeah, place the ears too low. <laughs> And make the ears larger. Oh God! There are all the, is a puggle, <laughs> the puggle oh, spam no. again. <laughs> the bat. 
<laughs> There's no stopping them. They're too powerful. Yes. really hard to understand how much soft tissue is the right amount of soft tissue mm. on the skull. Also, the noses of a warthog look different than I remember, remember them. Mm. Apparently, I never really looked at them close. Ah. Uh, but I imagine most people don't. Yep. It's a strange thing to look at closely. Yeah. Let's make it maybe more hairy at the cheeks. That might work well.
torso is wider than I thought. Mm. They are chubby boys. They need somewhere to put all the warts that they're hugging. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was that was bad. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll log off. <laughs> Joe would approve. <laughs> Her pun master. Cheng Yu Raptor. Maybe I did it. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I can check that. Centaur source is already done. I know that. It's a. Uh, I did one where it scratches itself with its uh, crest. Mm. Because I thought it would be a forgotten opportunity. What else to do with a crest other than producing sound and looking sexy? Yeah. I'm gonna go grab a tea, I'll be back in a bit. Sure. I wish there would be x-rays of a war talk. Maybe there is. Let me check. Nope. Only of the plane with the same name. It shows schematics. Go 
but it would be really helpful to know how much soft tissue is usually part of that. Dinopithecus. Oh, we did the close relative, I think. Explodes out of the laundry basket. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, dear <laughs>
don't forget, most of this will be covered in, in blood later on to fit the theme of tonight. out of the darkness I was the last one Have we done Kai Hong yet? No, we haven't, but I wouldn't do it on this stream be long uh, because we know the colors and this is more about giving vibrant colors to things where we don't know the colors, but animals that are usually reconstructed, not very colorful. Like trilobites, for example, are usually very, very boring. Wait, what? In coloration. Surely not. Depicted, not that they are. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All <laughs> the trailer bites that I've ever seen have been the most colorful animal I've seen. Definitely. I assure. Thank <laughs> you. 
room. And I think now we begin with the rat. The rat? Yeah. This pig will be covered in blood. Ooh. Make it easier, I think. Like that. But I will add more blood manually. Maybe we make the skin underneath partly white, <coughs> like it was digging in some white soil beforehand. Mm -hmm. Jack, do you have already your, your tickets for Tetsucon? I do, yeah. Nice. Because I always get worried that they'll sell out if I don't buy yeah. them. Which is probably irrational. But... Uh, I, I think it becomes more rational with, with every year. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely getting bigger each year. Which is good and bad, I think. Yeah, that's true. Definitely changes things up a lot. Yeah. I think the biggest shame about the expansion so far has definitely been the move in venue. Oh, yeah. It's well, I, I don't know it. Uh, oh. I do, didn't knew the, the one before, but yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a, there's a wildlife used... center. Oh, it was it was lovely, and it was such a fitting venue as well. Yeah, but it's not big enough. Yeah, surely I I know the photos. Mm. Oh, it's just shame. Yeah. Oh well, it, it's good as well though. Yeah, it could be up. it could be far worse. Definitely. Not that allows for some expansion of the community and some a lot of variation of speakers. You wouldn't get the forehand. Yeah, I'm. Swings I'm around. still dreaming of a convention one day only for paleo art and related matters. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll have to make it happen someday. Uh, I would 
be awesome. Uh, but for now, I think Tetsucon is the closest we get. Yeah, yeah. I'm not complaining. Yeah. It's still, still in it, like the highlight of the year. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to have like a, a paleo art convention slash exhibit. Yeah. Yeah, I I I already have a name for it. <laughs> oh <laughs> Yeah yeah well, well, I I dream big. Uh, I would call it uh Ars Paleontologica um Ooh. based on the Ars Electronica that is every year in Zurich large ah. uh art uh, art fair related to electronic uh, and and otherwise unusual art forms it's mm. a good name for it yeah. and i would like to because i think after some time um, only paleo art would be a little bit too not not enough to really yeah. have a complete convention but to have everything in there from um, new image giving technologies for paleontology to paleo art. Ah, uh, yeah. So sort of like wider paleontography. Yeah, but, or, or stuff like uh, uh, photogrammetry or micro yeah. CTs and stuff uh, like that. Everything that produces images in paleontology. Yeah. That'd be right. Sign me up. <laughs> and it would be a mixture of talks but also of course the possibility to exhibit your own stuff or have stands like at the tetsu cons uh, i mean stalls yeah. and mm. stuff like that yeah. definitely I guess probably the closest that there's been to that was the uh, the one at the museum in Albuquerque last year. Oh yeah, the the picturing the past exhibition. Yeah. yeah. But of but course, that... it was only an, an exhibition, so. It... Yeah. But probably the largest like global gathering. Yeah. To go up. I mean, there, there was something similar to this before. Um, Darren wrote about it. Uh, what was it called? With, with Mark Hullett and uh, oh. and um, Gregory S. Paul. I think back in the 70s or something. A large exhibition. I think that toured even through the UK and... Um, And America. Uh, it was famously known for that um, dinosauroid oh. sculpture that was first shown there, I think. But of course, since then, so much has changed. And so much more is possible and there are far more paleo artists yeah so many <laughs> too many to keep track
Yeah, I know Stefan uh, Lautenschlager was talking to me about some small scale event he wants to do it. Hmm. The musician here in Birmingham get a together workshop type talk. Yeah. The followed up. Oh, well, but I never heard about that. Why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, he just he just mentioned it to me at Frog Pal. Yeah. So, as an aside then. Yeah, but I think this yeah. this should be done more openly. Yeah, yeah. The communication is is a little bit fraught in that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he has any plans quite yet to actually go through with it. Yeah. Sort of a would you potentially be interested? And of course, I said yes. <laughs> Good. Let's see if I can get some white skin under here. It has a spooky like mask. Oh, hey, it wraps us up. It's already taking too long. Getting lost in the details. Uh, yeah. So easy to do. Yeah. I think at some point I, I need to, to use a timer. Mm. Otherwise, I. Yeah. Or <laughs> to just once catch per stream. Timers always scare me. So I know that I work slow. <laughs> <laughs> It looks right in 
brutish. Just Wash how my I wife. like my pixels. Terrifying. Wash your face. No, that's war paint. Oh, it has to all, go there. All messy. Very messy. Messy boy. Well, huh. it's a pig. What do you expect? Villa has spoken. Very clean. What Villa? <gasps> My God. I feel bad now that I just hijacked his voice channel. <laughs> well, he should have done something against that. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can have it back if you want, Villa. <laughs> now we we would just open another one. But but Villa is right. This this chat become became very ugly, ugly. Mm. Indeed. Absolutely. I don't even know why. That was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah. I I totally forgot. You you recommended. It for for one of the chimeras. Yeah. Sort of combined my fault my fault and yo-yos, I think. Yeah. I guess I accepted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's your fault as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one is no one is free of sin. Except me, because I'm perfect. Citation needed. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna send you something real quick. Cause okay. A little geek thing. Gidora. Oh, ha. Ooh, interesting. This is a bottom view of his yes. top. It reminds me a little bit of, of certain butterflies. Yeah, the butterflies, those aren't, uh, the little markings that almost look like veins on his wings will not end yeah. up. No, it's, it's just over yeah. all the, the form. Yeah, it is rather insect like. Nice. But uh, if you've noticed those two almost siphon like things on the bottom of the wings. Yes. Those tubes are going to be scattered all across the wings, and that's actually how he flies and Ooh. generates. He's literally rocket powered. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. I'm going I'm to I'm send it to Jack, too. Cause... Please do. At the moment, you're but... just describing it. I think I'm finished. Let's save it. Oh, dude, that's sick. Thank goodness Krita has that one mirror tool. It's very <laughs> useful for this. Oh, yes. Mirror tools are, are very, very useful. Yeah, that looks really good. Thank you. I approve. Mm -hmm. Do you think it looks aerodynamic enough, Yeshua? Yeah. Good. Okay, now the second. Took some inspiration from the male mutos, actually. Nice. Sexy cold troller by it. Could be, but it could also be something completely different. Yes, Dan, it's it's a war talk again. Because I messed up the first one. No, Dan, do not suggest an ankylosaur. Unless 
unless it's just the head uh, becoming the new slurp emoji, in which case, yes. <laughs> oh, Villa posting some good invertebrates. Mm, there's some really good ones right there. Uh, Johnny Wolfboy, um, Zomba only no. sent it in private message. You you can't see it yet. Ha 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 No spoilers for you. Indeed. Can you hear the rain? No. I cannot. Good. Is it rain? Yeah. Mm, that sounds cozy. I like rain. I like rain too. Uh, we could do the new Stegosaur. Ooh. Oh I, yeah, there was a new I Stegosaur. Paper. Where was it from? Uh, Morocco. Ooh. From the Middle Jurassic. All, all new, new stuff. Yeah, and I linked the paper uh, somewhere between all these puggles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Ah, there it is. I think I will link it again so people can download it. I can't post the file itself. It's too large. Uh, but Sci-Hub didn't work on this, so I asked for it on Facebook and somebody sent it to me. Oh, that's nice. So I will, I will spread it all across the world. Good. Excellent. That's what should, that's what should happen precisely. I cannot find a picture of how I imagine Ghidorah entering orbit because there is ah oh, crap shit okay so have any of you watched Firefly no uh, the series yes the series yes oh you have so you know Although the not everything of it. Oh well, this is the pilot episode, so yeah. Um, so you know how the Reaver ship, uh, when it enters the atmosphere, it basically flips over and just punches through. I can't remember that. It, it's been years. Oh, well, since I've seen yeah. it. The Reaver ship has this like one shield on top of it this big uh, sort of sheet of metal, and it uses that as a shield to just ah. punch the atmosphere really quickly. And it... Right. Yeah, and it's... Uh, and it, I, that's sort of how I imagine Ghidorah <laughs> enter the atmosphere. Not, not head first, sort of back first, doing a yeah, sort of a... Would, that would make sense. That should work. Yeah. Good way to not burn off your wings. Villa is in other talking other other talking things and I'm not sure what is, what he's doing in there. What's he doing? Get him in here. Villa. can also just pick him and draw him over. You could just drop him in. I can't move him. I can. Oh, <gasps> oh I can. No, I didn't. I accidentally moved him to another talking other things. How do I? Aha. No? <laughs> <laughs> I can't move him into Voices of Stream. I think you don't have the, the ability for, for that, but I can. Villa's wild ride. <laughs> There, I did it. Oh, there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. Maybe Villa doesn't even want that, but uh, we just assumed. I accidentally that... moved other talking things, Dan. Oops. 
going perfect. A dramatic roller cursed off a journey. Yes, Dino Dan, that's true. <laughs> he will tell of his journey in an epic story. Uh, Villa misclicked. Okay, oh. she he wrote that in. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to say. God sing, I, I can't. I, I will be the evil god who was uh, <laughs> just dragging him around everywhere through the universe. Like so Archer cones that came from above and grabbed him. <laughs> Arthur cones are now are just Arthur cones are like got twice as spooky. Mm. <laughs> Ever since I heard heard of that. And they were always spooky because you know big cephalopod. It's always gonna be always spooky. Always spooky on at least some level, but the obelisk looking things uh sort of solidified their spookiferousness. Yeah. Spookosity. I think I'm nearly finished. <gasps> Surely not. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shelly. <laughs> Hey, someone got it! <laughs> Definitely Good finished. Ooh, Dino Dan's idea is actually super cool. Uh, Stegosaurus fighting like how horses or giraffes bite at each other and hit their necks would be cool. That's not a bad idea. Reverse! Reverse! Stegosaurus rearing up is insanely aesthetic. Mm. Yeah, at the uh, the Euro Park in Poland, um, a Ooh. lot of the sculptures of the Stegosaurs are actually just walking on their hind legs. Yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting. Which I think is a little bit controversial, at least yeah. for the adult, but I like it as some details for the juveniles, definitely. Yeah. Are you, uh, oh, sorry, I, I was sort of donked out of the conversation. What was it? Um, the uh, sculptures of some of the stegosaurs at the Euro Park. It's the sort of dinosaur theme park in Poland at Krzyszew. Um A lot of them are bipedal. Yeah. Weird. Was it was it Kentrosaurus? I can't remember. I'll be yeah, honest. There didn't I, I many think... of the signs. I, 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 I could probably brought... see Kentros. Oh. I think it was a genus with with um, shoulder spikes. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I could see adult stegosaurs rearing up, just not walking on. Yeah, them. yeah. I should have some pictures somewhere. Yeah, there, there are also some online. Uh, when you, yeah. When one looks for them. I don't know where I put those pictures somewhere. Not here. <laughs> They're on the hard drive somewhere. They're here. I'm happy enough with this Ghidorah model, I might revisit Rodan a little bit. I like the idea of like his wing fingers really just becoming stubby hoofs. Yeah. Redan. And also I'd like to do a uh, view of Rodan similar to the one I'm doing of Ghidorah. Mm. That'd be cool. I think I might also do a dorsal view of Ghidorah, but that's not quite as interesting because you don't see all the tubes. I'd like it if you did all of those things. But I'd sell. So. Do it. Uh, uh, after the stream, Yeshua, I would like your opinion on something that's a bit more off, off stream material. 
we can do that. Oh, and uh, Jack, your input is appreciated too because I like you. So. Oh, thank. I appreciate that my input is appreciated. Well, I appreciate that you appreciate my appreciation of your input. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Isn't this wholesome? Yeah. Damn it, get a room. <laughs> We've been having some, some real wholesome moments in these past few streams. <laughs> I don't know. It's just nice to meet a person that you just instantly get along with. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Ah, uh, to be young again and in love. Father <laughs> I was about to start singing. Can you feel the love tonight? No, is it tangible? <laughs> what, would it feel, what would it feel like? I'm guessing like a jellyfish out of water. I would not know what that feels like, not being a jellyfish. Well, I assume it like snot that holds its shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's very romantic. <laughs> In it though, it it be it do be like that. <laughs> It's weird. Stegosaurs are kind of extremely complicated and at the same time super simple. Hmm. They are weird. They have weird heads, but I really like their heads. I like drawing stegosaurs except for their plates. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kaz is here. Hi, Kaz. Ah, Kaz joins. Hello. One of my favorite people here. There's Thunderbuns, there's Dan, there's Kaz. There's uh, uh, the other person. <laughs> no, there's Jack, there's Joshua, there's Prehistorica, there's Villa. All we're missing is all the other people I like, which is most people in here. Most everyone. <laughs> As I don't pay attention to no one, uh, to, to, to VC people, I only notice and well, actually no, I I do I I'm just sort of empty headed right now. <laughs> You're with me, I, I. It's okay. Yeshua hasn't fed me today. Apparently, this is neglect. Uh, I absolutely don't like where this is going. I will erase again. Yeah, no one. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Good villa. Not all. Not many people really like to draw Thyria forens in general. Mm. Even I really like them. Drawing them is painful. Yeah, I like the idea of them, but <laughs> in practice, no. I always have fun with Stegosaurus until I have to draw the plates. I never yeah. had problems with the plates, but bringing body and plates together. Oh boy, uh, Dino Dan made me a famous burger. Famous burger. Look at look at me. See, I've been I've been featured on freaking oh. news. Um, wow. I'm famous now. What are you talking about, Kaz? Of course I care. I care about everybody. I care. All the Aw, Dan called me a snack. Aw, that's cute. It is cute. Hmm. Since this is a 
relative of Miragaya and Percenturus. I assume it will be very chubby as well. Mm. Yes. Those are the coolest, I guess, sort of. Stegosaurus is basic. Stegosaurus is the dinosauriest of dinosaurs. But it is base. That has been said many times before by me. Mm -hmm. And it is true because I said so. Makes absolutely cool. sense now. I can make anything come true, except for myself. I can never be pretty. You're always pretty, Zumba. You don't know me. That's true. Well, Dan ate the hamburger. You don't know me. <laughs> don't know me. Oh. Oh. Uh, Kaz says we need fights. Uh. Uh, Jack, you can punch me in the face. That'll work. Uh, well, I don't think my arms are long enough. <laughs> oh, come on. The Atlantic's only the second largest ocean. Just, just, just reach across and give me a wallop. All right. <laughs> you missed. Well, I can't see that far, Zumba. Uh, it wasn't the wrong I direction. Like, I just it, like... it hit me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just like the idea of just seeing someone's fist hit my window. <laughs> and Drake is here. Yeah, like like a like a bird that flies yeah. against the window. <laughs> Smack. <sighs> exactly. Contented size. I think this is going kind of well. Ah, oh, this is working better. Okay. We have no plates for this animal, so I will just make something up <laughs> all of them are shaped like four leaf clovers <laughs> luckiest dinosaur it's the only possibility Yes, I, you know, pictures of turtles riding crocodilians uh, gives me life. They're very good. <laughs> they are essential. <laughs> Look at that, no, Dan. Stegosaurs without plates and ankylosaurs without osteoderms are cursed. And ceratopsians without frills and horns. Oh, God. Somebody make page, pictures of that, please. I yes, I... Well, this is a new American stegosaur. Maybe. 
could also be another fragmentary stegosaur. Like Pararaptodon. <laughs> you wouldn't know the difference. Uh, hadrosaurs without beaks. Ooh. Oh, well, we already had them, in a way. Mm. Yeah. Pterosaurs without wingman brains. Already done. Mm. Crocodiles, but with mammal soft tissue. I mean, that's basically what a European dragon is, so... Eh, not, really. not really, but... Uh, that's basically what a... Okay. Is. Fish, but with... Uh, but with primate soft tissue. Oh, God. Oh. That's a lot of fingers. How is that even... A lot of fingers. Fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Which finger? I really appreciate. Plates and spines on stegosaurs are tricky. <laughs> oh, please kill me now. So many a dragon thunders. Look at that friend. He can smile just like a real boy. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I are uh, what were they called? Pacus? Oh yeah. They're fun. They are fun folks. They are very cursed as soon as yes. they open their mouth. Oh that's a cool skull. What skull is that from? Uh other than that, damn. Oh I have seen that before. Mm, I see. Okay, Dan doesn't get to answer that question. Oh, it's one of them things. Oh, it's a wolf eel. Yeah. Those guys. Oh, oh their their skulls look so scary, and when you put when you actually see one, it's just derp. Until they bite you. Well, yeah, but you know, it's like uh, lung fish. Many things are just until they bite you. Indeed. The point is, is that they Apparently look... lungfish also very hurt. Can't say bites. Mm, I can imagine. They, they, they look sort of like almost Dunkley Osteus convergent. Yep. <laughs> very much. They got Especially nasty. the Australian one. Mm. So when does the revolution start? Uh, hopefully. Somebody not on stream. <laughs> you never know when the NSA is listening. No, you always know when the NSA is listening. Always. Ah, well, Sorry. but I don't want to save you guys. 
I won't, don't want to spoil you. Okay. That's fair enough. And the revolution happens soon, Yashua. I'm very... I'm ready for it to happen. We are all ready for it. But the uh, establishment isn't. No. Uh -huh. Uh, all these old people who will not see the crumble of civilization, but mm -hmm. will cause it. Joshua you're, Joshua, you're very close to actually sounding like you're talking about politics. <laughs> I know. Isn't it funny? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I want to make Dunkleosteus, but with like a monkey, <laughs> soft, soft tissue of a chimpanzee. How does that even work? Figure it out. Not my problem. Uh, why is it my problem? Uh, because Zomba says so. All right. Uh, that's right. not. Yeah, okay. We're gonna use the mom reasoning. Never mind. <laughs> with that. It's the easiest solution. My mum's not allowed to use that on me because I know that whatever bad decisions I make, he has made worse ones. <laughs> okay. Like you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How much is too much with like highlights? It's never enough. <laughs> I just I just saw the picture that Villa posted of the wolf eel eating a sea urchin. Oof. Oh um, god. Oh goodness. Oh, that's, that's so cursed. <laughs> it's so cursed. He's trying his best. He is doing a very good job, despite the inherent difficulties. Yeah, he's just like, fuck it, I will do it anyway. He's rebelling against the system. Indeed. Like, lol, someone got a fuck these sea urchins. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jack and I are no longer friends. <laughs> Friendship ended with some. <laughs> no, I have nothing against saying you followed by a W. <laughs> You. I do not. Okay. Subscribe to cringe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> this isn't YouTube. Not yet. Not yet. The door is waiting. Of that not yet. Ghidorah's wings are a lot more complex than I had previously planned. So many interconnecting tubes. That is totally tubular. It looks like part of the chemical industry. Part of. Attached to, associated with. 
I imagine very gigaresque right now. Yeah, that's sort of what I was going for with Ghidorah. Although, actually, no, that's not what I was going for at all. It just sort of ended up happening. Jeez, huh. <laughs> why? Morph. That honestly sounds kind of cool, but. One bit shorter than the other. I've symmetry fucked myself. Trying to imagine how Ghidorah moves on the ground. And I'm sort of picturing like a very large vulture. He just flops around. <laughs> like a very large vulture, but like, you know, with everything that comes with being a kaiju, much slower moving. Like one of them weasel balls. One of them weasel balls. <laughs> he just folds his wings up and tucks his necks in and just rolls. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Villa just shared, I think, I forget who, what her, what the artist's name is, but her creature design is really cool. Lindsay Wakefield? Ah, uh, yes. Her Carnotaurus yeah. with the extended horns, which looks so cool. I may do dorsal and ventral views of Godzilla too while swimming. Swimmy boy. Yeah. One thing I do like about Legendary's uh, Godzilla is how it swims. Especially the 2014 version. I just. Especially when it stands up in the middle of the ocean, but then swims away like there is no ground at all. Yeah, that was that, was, that was in King of the Monsters. That was fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the 2014 version. I think swam really well. I liked it. It was so like, derpy. In the middle of the ocean. It's, it's great. I wouldn't do that. Don't question it, it's it's Godzilla. He, his legs extend. Some, some kind of magic, man. Yeah. I mean, it, it has God in its name, so... Yeah. It walks on water. <laughs> Zilla Jesus. 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 
God, Jesus. Jesus with G. <laughs> Clarified butter, Jesus. You said with G, and I was confused. Yeah, yeah, I meant G, but yeah. Yeah, go. Back where I come from, we kill a man before breakfast every morning just to work up an appetite. And then we salt him, pepper him, braise him in clarified butter, and then we eat him. What is clarified butter? Ghee. <laughs> what? Like. Well, ghee is a type of clarified butter. But what's clarified butter? Like, well, first, uh, hang on. I don't know the exact. Ironically, this is not very clear to me. Okay, clarified <laughs> butter is milk fat rendered from butter to separate the milk solids and the water from the butter fat. Typically, it is produced by melting butter and allowing the components to separate by density. Ugh. It's that a... sounds funny enough, but that's exactly how I imagined it. That sounds yeah, weird. It's, I mean, it's it's just a cooking ingredient. It's <laughs> not a fan. God, <laughs> making cursed things. I like how he kept the horns for the ceratops head and just not the frill. Mm. And it's just pudgy Jackson's chameleon with. A beak. <laughs> really? Uh, that would have been a fun version of Skull Island off the coast of Madagascar. Well, we were off the coast of Madagascar, just much more into well, the yeah. Indian Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is off the coast of Madagascar, if you're brave enough. Mm. And, uh... I just love the idea of giant chameleon ceratops and mimics. Pain the tongue. Okay, now let's give it color and since this is a vibrant stream, we need something flashy. Orange and white plays his dark body. Mm. Sounds fun. Does. I would like the idea of the pattern on the plates going down into the body. Mm. Most of the plates are spikes, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could make it pink. Ooh. There is a way to add pink. That would be interesting. Don't see a lot of pink in dinosaur reconstructions for obvious reasons, but still. Be an interesting way of thing to see if we could find a way to add it. Don't see enough pink in dinosaurs and see way too much pink in Pterodostro reconstruction. <laughs> yes. Which is a shame because I love it. All right. It's it's... Boy. Oh, 
like that. Yes, Arcosaur Queen, of course, pink. Ah, Dragon Sunners, I see somebody already did that. Chameleons are good. Yeah. Okay. So close to doing this thing. Good morning. Mm, on the ground, I think Dora would walk like a vulture, but all of the tails and necks still navigate everything like snakes. Close. Mm. I like that. All moving in different directions at once. Thank you. Sorry, you cut out what? Never mind. <laughs> I was just being stupid. <laughs> no, now you gotta say it. What? I said, you... I said thank you, Zomba. Very cool. I'm sorry. I do mean it, though. I, I wasn't being <laughs> ironic. <either>. What? <laughs> I can no longer follow this conversation. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it looks like candy. Delicious. What flavor is this Stegosaur? Ah. Good question. It looks like... It almost looks like... Uh... Raspberry. Yeah, it looks like raspberry, but what's the white? Oh no! It's peppermint and dark chocolate. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's a good flavor yes. to be. It really is. Prove it. All right, in this, I can assume because of the jet propulsion, is able to fly faster than Rodan, but he does not have much stamina as Rodan in the air or gliding capabilities, nor is he as nearly as maneuverable. Hmm. Makes sense. It does make sense.
weird pattern, but uh, I did. I like it. Very unconventional. I like unconventional patterns. Yeah. Sign him. Yeah, just gotta sign him. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Mm, delicious. Scrumptious. Here's some yellow. I hear your child. Mm -hmm. 
child is very vocal. How are the children? The children? They were running around my legs earlier today. Very active. Oh, he has the Lucasaurus. Yeah. Nice. I'm just changing his leg a little bit because it's annoying. Oh, I did, I did. Notice where, where is it? Oh, Why is it upstream? I love, I love, I love. I, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Day is it? Is it Saturday? It's Sunday. At least over here already. On your side, okay. it's still Saturday. Is it? Oh, it is Saturday. I'm an idiot. Oops. An idiot. I refuse. Silly me. Oh, I could have gone to the shop today then. I didn't even though it was Sunday. Satisfied with the body now, something for the plates. Nah, not orange. Let's make it black with with some somewhat colored tips, like frosted tips. Yes. Cool. Yeah, something I actually like are the stegosaurs that have rather bright bodies, but then uh, whose plates are not necessarily dull, but they don't, they're not bright in comparison to the bodies. They just sort of add to the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> just enhance outline and stuff. Yeah. Sort of tired of stegosaurs that are completely dull except for the plates. Yeah, mm. these are usually also not my favorites. Of course, I'm one to talk. I made a stegosaur that was completely brown. Of course, it was trapped in a sandstorm, so its true colors are kind of forever a mystery, but... Oh, of course. I can't save it as a PNG because it's in CYMK. Oh, 
Oh my god, was the actual cat making those noises? <laughs> Brought him up to the mic and squeezed Aww. him. <laughs> okay, that was... if I'm disappointed that Dinosaurus is in the situation it is, or if I'm absolutely delighted because of course something like that would be. I can't make that sound. There are ghosts in my attic are being all rowdy again. Is it a holiday or something? Do the ghosts have any excuse to have a party? Do you know of any ghost holidays that are today? Nope. Mm. Oh, Jack muted himself. Jack is going on. The stegosaur has fried eggs on it. Yes. Delicious. Nutritious. Uh, nah, green wouldn't work that well. I think I, I will work here really with a limited palette. Using fewer colors makes it more convincing usually. Of course, I said I liked uh, bright stegosaurs, and then I say that I also really like... Uh, I'm a huge fan of Charles Knight's Stegosaurus, which is this massive green blob. Greens and yellows, but it's still just aesthetic. Yeah, it all depends how you handle it. Mm -hmm. I love the skin texture on uh, Knight's Stegosaurus. Yeah, it's great. I still want to get his book, The Artist Who Saw, saw Through Time, mm -hmm. but it's apparently no longer available. Oh. Yeah. Something about a lot of these old dinosaurs, the texture of the scales, even though, you know, outdated and stuff, it's just gorgeous. Yep. Like, Agathomas is... <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so good. And it looks so much like it could be a real animal. And it's not even a no longer a valid genus. <laughs> nope. Although I wonder, because ceratopsids do have those larger scales here and there, wonder if you could make a ceratopsid. I bet you could make a ceratops that looks somewhat similar to that. Yeah. Should be. Possible. Mm -hmm. Always wanted to make a, tri a triceratops especially that's super gnarly and rep and sort of iguana looking, but still credible. Hmm. The relative lack of cheeks, I think, would help. Yeah. For a moment, I understood the relative uh, lack of cheese. Cheeks. Yeah. Of course, the relative lack of cheese would also help with uh, sort of uh, being authentic. Definitely. Because cheese wasn't invented into the e until the Eocene. <laughs> it 
always annoys me when I get paleo artists putting cheese into the Permian. Yeah, God. Why is that a trope? No idea. So, it's like everywhere. And it's just so annoying. I think it was Gerhard Heilmann who started that. Oh, yeah. Back in the 30s. Never really stopped. Yeah, it's almost as it's almost like the uh, uh, Ornitholestes and Archaeopteryx paintings. It's the Dimetrodon with the wheel of Brie. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just re-listened. Um, now I'm very confused. You can <laughs> totally justified. I really like the patterns on this. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm overall not that satisfied how it turned out. Yeah, it's very good. I thought you would say, yeah, it's not that good. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not a thing that I'd say. Yeah. I think I finish this one. Ooh. One has to move on at some point. Very. Oh. Yes, I love it. I'm a big fan. Thank you. <sighs> PK Miragaya skin, please. Oh no, I forgot that one artist's name. I was I only dis like discovered his art recently and it was shared around a lot. He does very Charles he has a Charles Knight sort of as Oh you um, mean uh, Emiliano Toco? Yes. 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 Oh yes, he is an he is a nice guy. I met him in, in Brazil. Oh wow. Yeah. His works really cool. Oh, very much. Yeah. Oh, I should probably add some claws here. Yeah. I, this stuff's so gorgeous. I love it. Yes. Everything about it.
I just love that one painting of his with the like the hundreds of crocodiles. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. The one sauropod just kind of moseying along. <laughs> I love paleo art of like animals, of, of large animals dwarfed by their environment. Okay, guys, let me know what animal we could colorify next. I wouldn't do an ankylosaur. Too many osteoderms. Big, 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 big. Draw a zomba. <laughs> Drake suggests a fish. Okay, then Jack draws Zomba. Um, um, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're actually gonna do it. Oh boy. This is gonna be another quick, quick drawing. Like, first row down. I, I already did, I did Zomba, so. Uh... Yeah. Probably a few times already. What if I told you that every picture of me so far has been inaccurate? No, this can't be true. Sure. I assure you, it is. Impo Quite possible. I have goosebumps all over my face and my feet. If you know, if I messed with a triceratops and it got angry at me, the thing I would be most scared of aren't its horns; it's really its beak. Oh yeah, because that's what I feel like it would use most against small annoyances. Yeah. Other than like just stepping on it. But, Jesus, getting bit by a Triceratops sounds like maybe the, it's like one of the worst, an, it's like the worst animal I could imagine getting bit by. <laughs> I drew Zumba. <laughs> I'm so happy. I appreciate it. Looks it looks like a hybrid of a turtle and a hedgehog. Hedgehog. No, Dino Dan, don't be rude. That was incredibly rude. Oh, <laughs> that is rude. Deep. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon Thunders. Because I obviously don't get nearly enough attention. Ooh, dear. Definitely. Mm -hmm. mm. Arkansas Queen, Sifakandos was already suggested and is already done. Last year. 
Let's see this also. Uh, oh, Drake posted some references. Look. Eh, but it's only the skull. Oh yeah, and I, I already saw that paper. Uh, but... Uh, Drake, why do you want this particular animal when there are close relatives that actually have some very nice graphics and uh, we can work with. Hemiguaya, for example, just one page down. Or is it only known from from a skull? So we would only anyway use. Holotype. Make an make a landscape with Ostafricosaurus, but Ostafricosaurus is so far away you can't actually tell what it is. <laughs> that sounds good. But does it really fit into the theme of the of the stream? Oh, this, is there a theme here? Yeah, making animals that are usually boringly colored colorful. Hmm. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, so how about um? Let's go. Hmm. Oh, hey, why not a trilobite? Mm, yeah, that was suggested. Not in the mood for it? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do one, but Drake already suggested something else that I think is also quite interesting. As hmm, I, I never see a non brown Eriops. I think there are a few that are not brown. I mean, I think I've seen a green one. Yeah. But it's like a mossy green, so that's not really uh, saying much. I, I, I think there are also a few more colorful ones. Mm. But it's rare indeed. And we already did an Eriops. Oh, we did? Yeah. Heck. That's what I said. Oh, I'll be back in a schmeckin. Okay. Wind files packed. Outlook, please.
King Bongbubee, you're well, bear, welcome to the stream. Ah, okay, Drake, so there are only two skulls. Yeah, good to know. Ah, well. It is quite similar anyway. Six species, yes. thing about fish is they are relatively simple in their body plan mm.
a look at the eyes of a swordfish for reference. What? It's very dark crystal Skeksis kind yeah. of sounds. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wish I had Netflix <laughs> mm. in situa situations like these. Yeah. But we already have Amazon Prime, so I feel like uh, that's enough. Can't have mm. all streaming streaming services. Yeah, there's too many to pay for all of them. Yeah. Attach that, it's only next plate. There we go. What are you working on? Uh, I was just trying to um, email the uh, electorist friend them for the uh, ah, blog. But it wouldn't let me email Genji 20 megabytes. Dare them.
Okay guys, let me already know what coloration you could like or pattern you could imagine on this fish. Since it has these large fins, it could be something very spectacular. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have to look after him. <laughs> Your cat's very vocal. Yeah, he is. Mm. And he becomes more and more with age. Hmm. We figured out at some point that when he does that long enough, somebody will react. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My cat back home does that, but I feel like she doesn't do it <laughs> to get a response. She just, she just does it, likes to complain. Red and white alternating stripes. That could very much work, yeah. Oh, let's, I, I'm looking quickly at the cat and we'll be back in a minute.
hope so, Dazzle. She'll never be satisfied. Colors. Somebody oh. just followed. <gasps> they also like and subscribe. <laughs> Zach, maybe. Welcome to the stream. Fish, indeed. Nobody hosted so far, otherwise we could also hear that sound. Okay, the head looks now a little like a like it has a union jack. Painted all over it. Wonder.
Oh wow, they've completely revamped the, the Debian outpost setting. They did? When? Yeah, they don't have the whole like drop down menu where you select what medium it is and what the subject matter is anymore. Oh really? Yeah. They've just got um pick content type, original fan art resource, tutorial, VA related category that's like fifteen categories. Um and then weird thing that's like describe your DVA and you get to choose the subject that inspired or posed for it, which seems really limited because they only give three options and it's model, object, or character. Hmm. Yeah, I like this less than the old system, even though the old system was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> he searches for a place to sleep and he walks over paper. Ha! <gasps> that sounds like he mm. just came down. Ah. Oh. Oh, he wants some some hugging. No. Tell him he's a cutie, and I love him. He's sometimes very needy. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have nothing against cuddling cats, but. Uh, Sometimes it's not so right. Place and time.
always feel like red and white isn't vibrant enough yet. Hmm. Maybe maybe getting some cyan into the mix could be Maybe. I think it's sort of the desaturated bluey green colour that kinda brings it down maybe a little bit, but I Yeah. Oh well this stream is all about getting a little bit overboard with colour, so Yeah. I think it'll definitely pop more once more of the colour is in there. At the moment, sort of the base colour just takes over a little. Yeah. his little face. <laughs> but that expression that fish just tend to have. Yeah. What if we use cyan? Bright cyan. change something quickly. So annoying. works again. Okay, good. Mm. A bit more greenish. should work.
coming back. Oh. Ah. Back in action. Back in action. And I now have, ha 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 ha, I have a ice cream now, ha ha. You have what you cut out? I have an Instagram now, because I'm a sellout. <laughs> okay. Zombo the influencer, I can already see it. Yes. Trendsetter. Please. Just another thing to put art on because <laughs> Do we have anything already up there? Uh yeah, I got a mostly recent things. I, I actually had an Instagram for a while, but I just made it all I did was make it public. <laughs> Share it so we can all follow you. Uh no. But why? Because um, I refuse to exist. Okay, here it is. I don't even have Instagram, so. <laughs> <laughs> in case people have Instagram, they are now able I finally to I found follow a, finally the found a way to, s to see uh, Dino Dan's art. <laughs> Other than the server. And he followed me back. He, that's not okay. That wasn't allowed. Yeah, no. Dino Dan for following me. And now nothing else will happen for years and years and years. Until you rediscover that account and suddenly post 20,000 pictures in one day. Mm, that's true. Only possible way it could happen. Now what? Now what do I do? Do I?
the oldest uh, oh wait, what's what's happening oh fish 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 indeed but don't compare me to tommy wise though only because i was absent-mindedly laughing in a forced manner <laughs> Uh, I kind of hate Instagram too, Thunderbuns, but it's another platform for stuff. It is, and I still refuse huh. to follow it anyway. I only turn mine uh, public. I never used it, but I only turned mine public because I re remembered. Oh, wait, I can just use it via browser because before I could only do it on my phone, and I hated that. Blech. But now I can I transcend it phones. Wait a minute, how does Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. No. Uh I gotta ask Brennan about stuff. About what? Oh, the thing you posted, Chuck. Hmm? What happened to that turtle? Oh, that Zumba. What? That Zumba. What? I, uh, when I drew you. <laughs> oh. oh, can I Drake? Wait, where did where did you draw me? What? I'm I'm so confused. You you literally. Asked to be drawn, and then Yoshio <laughs> wouldn't draw you, so I drew you. Oh yeah, I, I know. I saw it. It was beautiful. I loved him. He's so happy. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, he, he said Dino Chuck, not. Hmm. Yeah, I was talking about Dino Chuck. He posted a turtle thing with that. I'm still figuring it out. I'm still doing the math in my head about how this. It's oh, that's like Jesus. Hi, Drake. Uh, I mean, uh, Ray. <laughs> it was. It's like if Moda from the Ritual was a toe. Why? Well, it's all it's all cropped though. It's not it's not uh, the complete piece that I made. Where where is the complete? I'll post it because it must be seen. I got a deviation for this, and by God, am I gonna brag about it? Uh, daily deviation is no longer what it used to be. No, yeah, they're letting shit like me in. No, Wait, not, not quality-wise, but um, attention-wise. <laughs> attention-wise, oh yeah. I don't want to say those things about yourself, you're great. Yeah. Like, I got, I got a shirt, I got some shirts today, and one of them has extra excess fabric. I'm using, I'm going to cut it with a sword. For example. Wow. Cool. That's reckless behavior. Besides Zumba, I'd rather your stuff was the daily deviation than like the ten hundred anime girl who's also a cat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got a new twist on it. Uh anime girl except she's uh oh fuck. This is going. Um, a no, no, can't be that. Uh, a oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm to remember. A dog. What happened? Revolutionary. Wow. No one, no one has ever done that. I'm so creative. It's my I favorite. Think... I think the issue is that people on DeviantArt want to fuck cats more than they want to fuck dogs. Wait, what? <laughs> Why are people fucking dogs or cats? What the fuck this is going on? I'm, I'm trying to like justify why the anime girl who is also a cat is so popular, but anime girl who is a dog is less so. 
I mean, I don't think they want to fuck her because she looks like a cat. I think they want to fuck her because they're creeps and they want to fuck her, you know. I think they do. I don't think it's about the cats. I think it's more scary. Yeah, but, but then why is the dog less popular? Well, because dogs... Well, okay. <laughs> There's psychology <laughs> here. So dogs some... are... Cats have like this sexy allure to them, but it's not like a sexual <laughs> sexy. It's just kind of like, <laughs> whatever. So they do want to so, fuck the cat. No, I said it's non It's a non-sexual thing with cats, where it's like, cats just like they have that thing where, where it's like hard to, but in general about everything. You want to feed me? <sighs> okay, I guess. But then dogs, you put food in front of them and they fucking lose their minds, like you just saved their life. Oh my god. It's a it's a personality thing. Some people don't know the difference between fuck and uh, personality. Well, <laughs> call call me naive, but I certainly didn't know that cat girls were called Nikos, Nekos. That's what those are. Aren't Nekos those weird chalky wafer things? Oh god. <laughs> I, certainly I would like that if that were what those were. Like, no, no, Neko wafers are, aren't they this old candy? They're like uh, Smarties, but not as good and also flat. <laughs> I'm not a weeb. I just know some weebs. That sounds exactly <laughs> like something a weeb would say. <laughs> I'm not the weeb. I know anime is, is. A, anime is a valid art form. Yo, Chuck, if you want to be a weeb, that's cool, dude. Own, yeah, that's own it. Fine. <laughs> we believe in you. Believe in you. We. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I'm going to pick up this sword now and cut some fabric. Sick. Can't wait to. Oops, I'm gonna make sure I don't cut myself. Yeah, be careful. Always cut away from yourself. Let me just preface by saying I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. You're cutting fabric with your sword. Okay, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know... I'm not entirely sure-footed in terms of doing it wrong. <laughs> so if I cut my hands off by accident... Oh! <sighs> Jesus Christ, why will me making another Google account not let me enter my birthday as... The, as December 25th in the year 1162. Just fucking typical. These Silicon Valley types are so ageist. Dan, do not be nasty. In fact, all of you, do not be nasty. Be nice. Be lovely people. I know you yeah. have to. Be kind to me. And I can't put my birth date as 2162 either. Do what Jesus would do. Which also includes flipping tables, by the way. Which means, yeah. You know, yeah. You would, Jesus would do, which is what? I'm born in the year 0 AD or 1 AD? Please enter a valid date. 1 AD is a valid date. I will. Absolutely. It was 1933 when I was brought back to Skull Island. Hey, that was glad. That was fine. Blah, blah, blah. I agreed. Uh, uh. Okay, decision made. Oh, oh look, <laughs> Darren just posted something on Facebook. Posted what? Loading, loading, loading. There it is. Keep loading, 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 loading. <laughs> Let me know what we should do next. 
Maybe a trilobite. Since <gasps> it was suggested a few times. Yes. But what trilobite? What trilobite could it be? I'm very much looking forward to uh, the talk of Tim Haynes. Mm. And I very hope that I will be able to speak to him. Mm. And I will probably bring all the pictures I did for uh, dinosaurs in the wild to Tezucon. Except the very big one because that's too large. I need a trailer bike. A good one. Preferably. Well, let's see. I mean, the world is full of cool. How have, you do, how have you done up the Puterella? Please type that so I can copy paste it. Uh, well, well, Not well. a big ol' nice lettuce. Already did that. Aww. So tell us isolated, whatever. Oh, that guy. We actually already did that as well. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Such What's a weirdo. One with the trident face. Oh, is that one? Uh, I can't remember. God, and I'm I'm sad. I've seen fossils of it, like actual physical fossils. I've yeah, seen me them. Too. Good. But I can't. Although I think it would be more interesting if you do a razor classical trilobite that's in its morphology, yeah. razor boring. And then add some. Uh... Yeah. Oh, we could do that one um, with the snake eyes. Oh, yes. Yes, do. The, the eye stalked uh, Azaphus is apparently the name. Again. Yes, it's a Zephyrus. So I, the nice thing about this is I can focus a lot of, on, I don't have to focus a lot on, on drawing the animal and can more focus on the, uh, on the coloration. Time to slurp. <laughs> that looks interesting. It's also quite interesting. Fascinating. Using the brush this way is quite... That's fun. <laughs> it's like a, a thousand stars exploding on the screen. 
It's like when you take an old uh, silver nitrate photo and just hold it up to the sunlight and it goes. Oh no, no, no. It's it's like these uh, uh, specially resistant bacteria growing in a petri dish. <laughs> yeah. I got half the shirt cut so far, and I only cut off three fingers. No progress. Well, less fingers than you could have cut off. I only need one. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as they are not important fingers. Yeah. If you get down to it, you only need an index and a, and a thumb. That's all you need. Who needs these anyway? I think I do this very different from the beginning. Banana Co. He's doing a yoga.
wonder if my father ever knew that I'd be using his sword to cut fat. Oh, damn. I never noticed the difference between Godzilla and the two movies like that. Ripped. Yeah, he started working out. <laughs> damn. Serious Al really gave that guy some steroids. <laughs> Got that lizard juiced. Hey, time to check out. Rest in peace, Boston. Definitely. I'm sleepy. I got a new bandana. <laughs> what? What's the meaning of this? Maybe it's hot. So next week I have to change my setup again. Uh, it's just it's just better to to stream in in the basement. For some reason it's more comfortable there. Although all the light up here is is much better. What does SMS stand for? My brain's fun to see and I forgot. Um, no idea. Like no per Facebook. Uh, apparently it stands for short message service. Secret massage skinks. <laughs> I, I like think it that has one better than text messaging, but Slope my spring. <laughs> oh hey, he did a dunkly osteus with with mammal soft tissue. Oh Dan, that's the best. Oh Dan, oh, you you did a wool saurus with a trunk. <laughs> and a and the peakless quetzalcoatlus. <laughs> oh god. I kind of love it though. Drinks on us. Why is it cold where you are? How is it even possible? <laughs> I think my favorite is the tiger Dunkleosteus. Mm. Yeah, How does, you know, cold. I'm super jealous of you, Dan. How do you, like, I'm just looking at the Triceratops and the Quetzalcoatlus and the Edmontosaurus. How do you come up with like such nice color schemes out of the blue. Like what? How, how do you do that? And I'm, I say, how do you do that? It's obviously just practice, but I just, I'm jealous. Uh, uh, I guess that, that makes sense. That's something I kind of struggle with.
Okay. Um, This is this is wild. I actually was able to make a bandana out of the excess fabric now. <laughs> so now I'm ready to go riding. You should cut more t-shirts. I should make a little business out of this. Yeah. Like, hey guys, you got some excess. You got a shirt that's shaped weirdly. Like they added like some kind of weird bottom curve. Hate that, right? Bring it here. I've got a katana. I will cut that stuff for you. <laughs> got a guy you don't like I'm not going to menace him don't, that's not my, my job but if you got fabrics and you got any I want to take the bandana off now <laughs> Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like forgetting that I'm actually in this voice call. What about the voice call?
Falchuk, what what did you do to Cass? Oh God! Oh no! What what happened? Oh no! Oh no! No! Cass. The plug will kill Cass. No, Cass. The oh. You never meant it. So, come on. It's an unforgivable forgivable crime. You didn't realize the true power of the puggle before we were at it. You can't put that back in there. Something else other than just white and blue would be nice.
Is Facebook being so fucking like glitchy right now? Because it's bad. Because it's Facebook. Not doing it for me. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Never seen a white, blue, yellow trilobite, so I hope this is decently surprising for I some just people. Now looked back at the, just looked back at the stream. That's nice. I really like it. It's very like it's part of the marine military. Our navy.
it just also lags. Every time I have to look up trilobite legs to be sure how they're <laughs> constructed. Oh boy, a trunkless elephant. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, and I always forget the antenna. <laughs> And then we are done.
don't think I'm finished. Oh, really? I love that. Finished with just this, or finished overall with the I stream? I think finished overall, too. That's a sleepy around. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. You're feeling very sleepy. <laughs> I have. Close your eyes. You're on a beach, and the tide is lapping gently at the sand. <laughs> okay, we started tonight with uh, Mitrio Diochoros again, <laughs> because the first one didn't really work out. Next one is a new Stegosaur from Morocco. Uh, Adrati Clit. Which uh, I hope we will see more of uh, in the future. Yes. Uh, then Hemingway. Nice little fish. It is in a broken air conditioning dyno chuck. It is perfectly functional, but very old air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> and I was dying. In dying heat. heat. Oh, hi. I am not in heat, Yashua. <laughs> Are you sure? Next week. <laughs> okay. Patience. Last but not least, this little trilobite here, Azaphos. Oh, hey, Jack uploaded his thing to DVNR. I got a favorite. I got a favorite. I got a favorite. There we go. Oh, wow. And of course, Willoughby immediately gave you a lovely compliment. It's really nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed at what my pay has to offer, to be honest. Uh, except for the I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. You go on there. <laughs> Especially the Ah, there it is. Let's quickly save it. Hey, Yeshua. Guess what? Exactly. I'm now on Facebook. Ha 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 Oh my oh. god. What? I know! Nani? I'm... How did you do that? Well, first I did the tippity type, and then I didn't fall asleep. Your name can't just be Zombra, right? Uh, that's what it is on my Facebook account. Surely okay. fucking not. Send me a friend request so I don't have to look for you. So you don't have to send me. Okay, guys, uh, this is everything for tonight. I hope you liked it. And uh, see you probably tomorrow. Maybe with a new setup, maybe, uh, let's see, I, I need to draw in a different position other than sitting here at the, at the desk, that doesn't really work for me. Uh, okay, good night. Ha 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 ha.